I think it's funny because you were trying to pick a nice sunny day to have your first ride. Now it's raining. When Miranda says I wanted to wait for a nice sunny day to come back and ride my pony, she wasn't joking. But getting all of your ducks in a row in order to even get to the stables when you have a two-year-old and a five-week-old is quite challenging. So I have decided to make the best of the opportunity that I have. And today, I'm going to see if Tivoli wants to go riding. Tivoli! overly impressed but she did come and say hello and that counts for a lot I've got to say, I don't really feel amazing. I feel like my belly's being held in by my underwear and my pants. But it's good to see you. <laughs> so, oh, I you have didn't. This for little Angus. And I have to say that. The cowboy boots. <laughs> oh my gosh, Miranda, Miranda, help, help. Get these out, quick. Oh, out of the Quick, quick. And this is a big sister little present. Oh, little cowboy boots! Size seven. Oh my gosh. This is a two year old pair of boots. That's a big sister baby pair of boots. And this is an Angus pair of boots. Claire, you're the greatest. Thank you oh, so much. Pleasure. I would like to give credit where credit's due. This horse has not looked that shiny since Equitana. And that is all thanks to Miranda. Thanks, Miranda. That's okay. I wish I could say as much for me, I have no abs. I had a C-section to have my second baby, or my first and my second baby. And so I have no ab strength. You're sort of like weirdly emotional. Um, you, I sort of feel like I really wanna be this, this rider and then I'm torn between actually sitting at home on the couch and just snuggling your little baby and going, oh, isn't he so cute? I think we're all kind of expected to just get back to it. Um, and there's a little bit of pressure more that you put on yourself to be these people, be a really good mom and be a really good rider and be a really good trainer and make sure your horse understands what's going on. Um, so anyway, I thought I'd make a YouTube video about that. And I'd also had a few people ask me, Lara, how do you go going back to riding horses after having a baby? Do you get scared? Do you get worried? And the answer to that question for me at the moment is not is pretty much no, because I rely on my training. I rely on only doing what I feel confident and capable of doing. So today, my doctors have said that I'm allowed to do some walking and I should start doing some walking, but they didn't really specify whether that walking had to be on my own feet or on my horse. So we're gonna give it a go and see if I can walk on my horse. 
But there are a few things that I always check before I ride, regardless of how well I trust or know the horse that I'm going to ride. And that is, are they willing to be caught? And are they willing to work with you? Are they in a learning, calm mindset? And do they understand the basic cues that we're going to need to be able to achieve what we want to today? So I would like to do some walking, which means Tivoli needs to understand a backup cue. Good girl, good girl. I'm sorry I pushed on your arm. A bending rein. How to move her hindquarter. And if I have control of that hindquarter, we should be able to do some walking. No, no treats. I don't feed. Who's been feeding you treats, huh? Who's been feeding you treats? And I had a rule whilst I was pregnant. If I couldn't get on from the ground, I couldn't ride the horse. But because I have no abs, I think it's only fair that I use a block today. Thank you. 